Hello, I'm Andy from ABC Direct. I'm going to show you how to clean the condenser on this double door bottle cooler, um, keep it running to the best of its performance, prevent it from overheating, and save you money and your electricity. This should be done every three months. Um, very straightforward job. This one's been removed from, from site, but we'll show you how to do it. First of all, you've got these two grills at the bottom. This is where the fridge breathes. Um, it draws cool air in one side and it expels the warm air out the other side. Because these cabinets are designed to be built in tight to bars, this is the only place where the ventilation um, is on the cabinets. So you ensure that this is kept clean, over it every week um, and give it a wipe down with a damp cloth. Make sure no dust, dirt or any bits of paper or anything gets stuck in the grills. This one's been removed from site, so it's a lot easier to work on, but you can, this can be done behind the bar also. I'll take you around the back and I'll show you how to clean the condenser, which is the important part of the fridge. On the back of all double door bottle coolers, you, you'll find the back panel something similar to this, and they're just screwed on with Phillips screws at various points around the fridge. So we'll take this back panel off and I'll show you the important bits of clean. Always make sure the, the fridge is unplugged from behind the bar before you do any work on it for your own safety. I'll just remove the back panel. Once you've removed the back panel, it comes off as easy as that, and it reveals the components inside the fridge. You've got the condenser, the fan motor, and the compressor. The, the bit that we're interested in and keeping clean every three months is the condenser. As you can see, there's very soft fins on this condenser, like a radiator, and they do get clogged up with dust. On this condenser, um, you should always just clean it with a soft brush or a vacuum cleaner. I'm just going to use a soft brush to start with. And just brush it in the direction of the fins. And you can see all the dust that's coming off. This has accumulated in three months, so it is important to keep this clean. If this overheats, it'll end up burning your compressor out and your fan motor may burn out and it'll cost you a lot more electricity to run because the fridge will be running too warm. And you see all the dust coming out, this is why we've taken this out from behind the bar to do it. And when it's off site as well, it's easier to clean because you're not getting dust everywhere all, all over your glasses and everything behind the bar. Clean, clean everything you can see, give it a vacuum out. What I'm going to do, I'm going to clean this condenser with an airline as well. So what that'll do, because the condenser's thick, it's got a lot of passes inside and there's a lot of fins in there, so we can only clean the front, but the dust has got trapped all the way through this condenser. And um, even though it's been cleaned every three months, I don't think it's been blown out. So what I will do, I will use an airline that I've got just to blow gently through the fins and that will remove all the dust. So I'll just get my airline and I'll show you what I do there. So what I've got now, I've got my airline and I'm just going to clean the fins out very gently do it with the airline and there'll probably be quite a bit of dust in there so if you watch this is better we're doing it outside. As you can see there's quite a bit of dust coming out there and that's all the dust that's trapped inside the fins inside that you can't actually see on the outside. So once we get this clean, this fridge is going to work really well. If you were doing this inside, I'd always advise you to wear a mask. But because we're doing this outside, all the dust is just blowing away. And um, it's not affecting us in any way. the dust off from all the other areas now might as well while I've got the back off and keep it all clean that's done that I'll just make sure the motor's spinning, spinning freely there's no other bits of dust in there that's all nice and clean we're going to save ourselves a fortune there 
on electricity and running costs and we're going to prevent the cooler from overheating. All I'll do now is just put the back cover back on um, and we'll just um, plug it in and there we go. I've just shown you how to clean your condenser on your fridge. Um, that'll save you money on your running costs, make the fridge run less, be a lot more efficient and it'll prevent any breakdowns and overeating on the warmer days that we have. I'm Andy from ABC Direct, thanks for watching and I'll see you again.